Welcome to the book reading program of 3ABN Australia Radio. Does your faith need a boost? Do you think that miracles only happened in Bible times? Think again. Compiled by Remnant Publications, the book Get Ready for a Miracle recounts true stories that prove that when we step out in faith, God displays His power in undeniable ways. Here is our reader, Harold Harker. This story is entitled Handwriting on the Wall. Daniel chapter 5 and verse 5 reads, In the same hour the fingers of a man's hand appeared and wrote opposite the lampstand on the plaster of the wall of the king's palace. And the king saw the part of the hand that wrote. We received a letter from a woman in the county jail. Someone had told her about the Bible Sabbath beginning on Saturday. For whatever reason, she was transferred to a solitary confinement cell, and on her cell wall it was written about the Sabbath being on Saturday. Then she received a gift package from the Christmas Behind Bars program while in the county jail. In her package was a sharing book called the Ten Commandments Twice Removed, written by Danny Shelton and Shelley Quinn from 3ABN and published by Remnant Publications. In her letter she said, I now know the importance of the Sabbath to God and that it is the same biblical Sabbath spoken about in the Bible, which is Saturday. Someone shared the truth about the Sabbath with her. Someone showed her through the handwriting on the wall of her cell. Then someone sponsored the devotional book that she received in her gift package from Christmas Behind Bars. We look forward to meeting her in the Kingdom of Heaven. If she remains true and faithful to her newly found truth, It will be a joyful day when we meet the individual who wrote on the wall in that tiny, solitary confinement cell in the jail. What a joy it will be to meet the one who sponsored that book. A reflection associated with this story comes from The Desire of Ages, page 104. God does not send messengers to flatter the sinner. He delivers no message of peace to lull the unsanctified into fatal security. He lays heavy burdens upon the conscience of the wrongdoer and pierces the soul with arrows of conviction. The ministering angels present to him the fearful judgments of God to deepen the sense of need and prompt the cry, What must I do to be saved? Then the hand that is humbled in the dust lifts up the penitent. The voice that has rebuked sin and put to shame pride and ambition inquires with tenderest sympathy, What wilt thou that I shall do unto thee? This story, entitled Handwriting on the Wall, was written by Lemuel Vega, founder of the Christmas Behind Bars Project, located in Bluffton, Indiana. Its mission is to share Christ's love to those behind bars, not just on Christmas, but 365 days per year. You can find the information on their website, christmasbehindbars.org. You've been listening to the book reading program by 3ABN Australia Radio, featuring Get Ready for a Miracle. For more information about this book, visit remnantpublications.com.